right here looks actually really pretty. What you're seeing here is about four years of growth after it being logged and the nice fogginess up in the mountains. It's misting. It's been raining all day. It started raining actually in the middle of last night. Hey everyone, today we are right outside Press Isle, Maine and we're coming to the giant tank culverts that were reused from the logging company. They used to be giant fuel tanks, I believe, to run machinery out here. And they reused them as culvert pipes by cutting the ends off of these gigantic, probably 10,000 gallon fuel tanks. They put them in the road to use them as pipes and they're working extremely well as that. They're very strong, durable, they'll be there for years. They're smooth, debris can't get stuck inside it easily. This area, about two years ago, we would come here every month and unclog it. Two years ago, this entire road here in the low spot was flooded. They build the road like this on purpose so it washes out in the low spot and not actually at the pipes. That way, they can just come in with dump trucks and a grader and fix it in a couple of hours instead of it being a big time consuming process. So. I was out here last night with you guys doing a moose watching vlog and just for the heck of it I decided to get out and stop here, look at it in the middle of the night and we found a beaver dam blocking these pipes. It's the start of one so right now we are going to go in there and completely remove it looks like a two foot tall dam at least and then we're going to put a bunch of ribbons up so the beaver trapper knows there's a problem here. What I just parked in is pretty soft. So they're multiple feet away from flooding the road again, but they will eventually achieve that if this isn't dealt with soon. So we're gonna go in there, solve the problem for now, flag the road a lot, and then we're gonna report it to the beaver trapper and try to get the beaver moved out of here again before there's flooding. By the evidence, it has not flooded yet this year. They were relocated two years ago, but it's prime real estate for the beaver, so. They are back now, two years later, to cause problems again. All right, so I got these here for camera one and two. I'm gonna do a camera configuration I've never done before. I thought about grabbing two more magnets and putting floodlights in there, but I actually watched the video of this location to refresh myself from a few years ago, and the pipe is eight foot diameter, so we're not gonna need that. There's not gonna be a problem with lighting in there at all. It's gonna get in there perfectly fine. So we'll just use these to put the cameras up on the ceiling, and I'm gonna have to find little pieces of wood I can probably rip out of the beaver dam to use as little shims for angling. All right, everyone. So no more big potholes or anything. It hasn't flooded here in a while. If we would have been here two years ago, it's still here actually. There's a beaver dam. That's what this hump is all along the road. The pond was in here flooding this whole forest. Everything was dying out. But it obviously wasn't flooded long enough to kill most of the trees. They killed the pine trees. You can tell those are fresh kills. They've only been dead a few years. But certain trees can take year after year of flooding before they actually die. I know like a maple tree, it'll just go into winter hibernation early. Last week I saw a bright red maple tree in the middle of or the end of July, because the beavers were stressing it out, so it just went into hibernation for the winter. See right here, you can see the water levels are elevated a little bit. Because of the dip in the road designed for washing out, these pipes can never reach their capacity. And there's a ribbon from us two years ago. Surprise, it's still there. So this is that same place, the beaver swamp. They are up there, pretty far away. That's the same place the angry beaver chased me after we went up there to explore where they were. Here we go, it's very fresh, extremely fresh beaver dam. And this pipe is so big, that's actually maybe a three foot dam. So we're gonna go ahead and remove it. We're not gonna touch the second one over there. We probably wouldn't even have enough water to remove it. This is gonna go down very fast. There's not a lot of water sitting here. So they're probably reusing the old beaver lodge. Beavers will do that often. And going down the other side, I don't see much debris at all. When we used to unclog this, there was giant clumps of debris all down river because every time we'd unclog it, every time the excavator would unclog it, it would just get stuck. But spring thaw and everything has long taken all that debris away downstream. 
Look at this, these pipes are barely in the ground, but they can hold log trucks because they're just so thick, that metal. So these are believed to be giant fuel tanks, probably above ground for diesel, running all the equipment out here. And based on their size, I would guess, what, 10,000 gallons? Maybe even bigger? I'm not sure. So they're holding up maybe three feet of water. And this should be pretty simple. This is not a thick dam. Yep, like I said, another beaver probably came through here and just happened to discover it. This might be an inexperienced beaver. It's not a very strong dam. They're still learning. So that means it'll be easy to take out. Oh, wow. Got a lot of spider friends right there. Yeah, you see, lighting is not going to be a problem in here. Whoa. All right, we're in. The way the paint is chipping is actually kind of cool. Look at that. I think it was chipped like that because it's dented from being installed. All right, so I'm gonna put a camera here facing down so you can see here and another camera facing that way looking at this. All right, everybody, I think we're ready to start unclogging. We're gonna try a new thing today, a split screen with the cameras facing each other like this. Camera number two is on. Let's see how this goes. I don't really need my headlamp. Not really. This should be a good day and we can undermine it and hopefully get the whole thing to go through at once. I'm going to start ripping some of the big things out first. That smells so good.
got a very strong amount of current. That's why I had to get out of the water. Now it's going to be challenging to walk in here. Yeah, I'm really fighting this current right now. This is a struggle walking in here. It's not a corrugated pipe. Very smooth. And that water is moving very swiftly right now. Let's see if we can do anything in the other pipe before the water pressure runs out. All right, got the cameras. Hear all the rocks tumbling. The water pressure is so strong. It's pulling rocks in here. The mouth of the pipe is the strongest current right here. This is pulling me so much. The current isn't even that bad, it's the traction is so bad. If I fell right now, I would not regain traction until I hit the end. I probably wouldn't get hurt at all. Maybe just a couple little scrapes. But now that I'm on the edge into the riverbed, now I got traction. So now we're going over to the other dam. And look how fast the water current, I mean the water level is dropping. Already six inches of water loss on this pipe right here. And this pipe is, we're gonna try to get it out of here. I didn't think at the beginning of the video we'd have enough time, but that went faster than I thought. So before the water pressure runs out, we gotta try to get this one working again. All right, so just trying to rig this up. These are very strong man magnets. You can snap your finger and it hurts really bad. And if you don't use this little teeny piece of wood shim I have, it's almost impossible to pull off. We're not deep enough for the camera angle. Right here, good enough. I can fix and straighten that out a bit in editing. All right, I got camera number two right here which we are starting back up. Water is dropping fast. We gotta get moving. All right, focus in. Let's give this a shot.
big that rock is. right there was preventing us from getting some of the current. We already got that whole beaver pond down. Almost two feet. Camera number two off. All set. This one does not have nearly as much current as the other one does. We used up a quite a bunch of that current on the first one. And this one was actually built stronger 
and we have less current to work with, unfortunately. I'm out of breath because I was pushing myself as hard as I could to get this done before we ran out of water pressure. Look how much water's lost. That area over there off the bank was flooded. It's now draining back. Look where the water line was. Yeah, about two feet of water so far. And see the rapids up there in the river? That's about it, I think. This might be back to its normal flow. Now, what you saw there, I don't know how many beavers that was. If it was one, it's a good week's worth. It's a whole family, maybe um, a couple days. Look at this one, barely has any current going. So what I'm noticing now is this one over here, although I don't think this actual river ever flows this little, it might just be a coincidence or they didn't really notice their mind when installing them. This one's a little bit higher, which so this one would be the secondary flow. So this one, for future reference, should be unclogged first, since if anything, this would be the one to run out of water before the other one. But as you can see, they both calm down and I think they're still calming down quite a bunch. And that pile of debris down there, even when the water rises, it'll get stuck on the rocks. Like at first I looked for the piles from previous years, which had obviously been flushed away by storms. Oh, but this was a fun one, especially in the rain, because this one's like a shelter. You always get to work completely inside inside of this big eight foot pipe. And now you can see to the right of the screen, everything draining. Beavers actually carve those little ch uh, channels through the woods when, when they flood it. So they have little canals they can go hide in from predators, basically is what that is. So yeah, we did good today. It's a nice day, it's not raining that much. Just a little bit of drizzle, I would say. Really nice day. Every day this week has been in the lower 60s for temperatures. Really nice. Downstream, you see he's running a little bit dirty. But honestly, we just looked inside. It's already kind of running clean. This is just stuff that has to flush out of the corners, but there's blockage number two. Look at all, it kind of kept its shape all together. It looks like there's more of it down there. That's probably part of blockage one. A bunch of blockage one is over here. So this was a very fun, productive day. This is probably the most fun location I ever go to because you just compromise it a little bit and it just slides through because it has no ribs in the pipe. It's not a corrugated pipe. It's got nothing for the dam to really strength onto. But the same goes for me. I could have easily fallen over on that slippery pipe. The thing's not even meant to be a culvert pipe, but almost every culvert back in the day was flat. Really th thick metal, riveted together. Sometimes you still come across them. Things they built back in the day lasted forever. I've showed you guys some riveted together culverts. It looked like the boiler of a steam train. It was actually really awesome. So this is where the water used to flood across the road into here to get back around to the water. None of the grass is pushed over or anything. This hasn't flooded in years. Nope. Just a little pool here with a couple of tadpoles. Can't believe the mosquitoes and nothing's bothering me. The past couple of nights it's been cool enough that the mosquitoes are actually uncomfortable, which is awesome. All right, everyone, we got this part of the road marked really nice. Look at that really nice mist up there on that hill. Looks awesome. Actually, for a moment, want to get back down in the water. I want to clean these boots off. They're very muddy. I'm now realizing. And most of my body is soaked just from all the splashing. That second dam was hard to pull apart. Look how nice and low this is now. It's back to a riverbed. All right, so just got to clean off some of this. Look at that, that couldn't sweep me away now. The current has now completely drawed back. You see, none of this mud is really caked in there or anything. You know what I am noticing as I'm doing this? 
the sediment in the water, I'm feeling like particles and stuff. Because this was built up, even if it was just built up a couple days, stuff that would be normally flowing through here, the dam has held up sediment and it's actually eroding from upstream. So that's why it's still a bit discolored. If I reach in, I'm, I can feel particles. It's weird. Bunch of things in the water. I absolutely love working in the rain. Well, as long as it's not absolutely pouring, it's way better than yesterday. Yesterday when I was out here, this area was just so dry, you'd have to pull over and wait a couple minutes after every big truck. The dust storm was so bad and it, it works its way in here quite fast. I gotta wipe every surface down, there's dust on everything. So now, now it started picking up with the rain, just in time. This has been a busy beaver season and they're really busy this year with trapping, so I'm sure they'll get there. Just wanted to make the area noticeable since I can tell that is a brand new problem that just occurred within the last week or two. That beaver just showed up. There's no debris downstream, which means it hasn't been unplugged recently. Nothing is dead around the edges of the water, so yeah. The only reason you could see the area where the water dropped is because that's the river's flood point, the river bank, and they hadn't really got up above that. But if they had it flooded, you'd see all that grass and a lot of that goldenrod, that would have died quite fast and turned brown. So that was a very brand new problem. And as much as I love to unclog that, it's better if the road crew just takes care of the problem. I hope today's video was interesting, everybody. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Got a moose up there. Oh, running away. Oh, coming back out. Got a moose up there. Oh, running away. Oh, coming back out. Look at this bridge. Whole part of the deck is just missing. Just drove down this road. My destination's 10 miles further down and I have no idea how to get down there at the moment. There's no sign, nothing saying this bridge is out, but we'll mark it.